shape what's to come. We're into the second round of matches, and neither of these two sides have lit up the league so far. But that could change this evening. A win could be the spark required. Atmosphere simmering very nice indeed, and a sold out Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium. For this clash of Derry City and Shamrock Rovers, it's the top two from the last two years. Tonight, it's second against fourth at the Brandywell. Just a point separating the sides. And Shamrock Rovers in fourth have a game in hand against Drogheda United to factor in the league so, so tight. Shelburne, five points clear at the top in goal, worked uh, through the thirds and finished off superbly with a very tidy volley from Richie Towell. And Stephen Bradley, speaking to Tony before the game, said it certainly influenced his thinking in terms of the team selection. Here's Duffy with the early shot. And it required saving. Did the necessary Mickey Duffy cutting in from the left hand side? We've seen him do that down through the years. Low drive, awkward one for the goalkeeper, but he pushes it behind. It's always going to be an awkward one for the goalkeeper, wasn't it? Came from Connolly, good defending on Aaron Green, getting really tight, forcing him to for try Derry. to consider that his movement is, a, is willingness to run Aaron Green, especially into those channels. Keep Connolly and McElhenney on his feet, but not the most mobile of players, but certainly when it comes to Green, so they've got to watch him. Lovely play from uh, Mickey Duffy to set Ben Doherty roaming down. Derry's left hand side. Referee says get on with it as Gary O'Neill hits the deck. Darty with the pullback. Paul McMullen inside the area. McMullen right across the face of goal. Well, he's looking for his first Derry City goal. That was an opportunity for Paul McMullen, but he got it all wrong in the end. Yeah, clever it is for McMullen, I've got to say. Referee's done extremely well there. Can we consider Duffy should have gotten a foul earlier on? We'll have a look. McMullen really good at getting himself into those little pockets. Arrives late, just get the ball out of his feet. You can see what he's trying to do, isn't he? Just trying to guided to that far right hand Lopez to Cleary Burke it's a good ball from Graham Burke to pick out Dylan Watson now Watson with that early ball Aaron Green no offside flag just yet Aaron Green in on goal big opportunity Green plenty of time to think about this one Mara made the save oh, Richie Towell is there and somehow it's blocked away on the line tremendous from Ben Doherty and co defensively well you thought Shamrock Rovers simply had to score they failed to do so I'll take a vow, Ben Doherty. I'll tell you what, it was actually Ben Doherty that actually kept them on side. He was so worried about Dara Burns on this right hand side that played Aaron Green on side, but he gets himself back willing in Just on that and your own success, what was it? League titles of Shells 03, 04, 06 again, Drada 07. The hunger of players, and I'm referring to Shamrock Grovers because so many of their players have won four in a row now. But just to maintain that hunger, we'll come back to that in just a moment because it's Derry City on the attack here. Duffy with the attempt. Oh. Super save, smashing save by Coles, and it needed to be to deny Mickey Duffy, who's looking to score for the third game in succession. No, Adam O'Reilly again in midfield, tenacious, just giving the ball to Duffy. We always know he's going to do this, but sometimes you just can't stop and have a look at that for execution. It's a hell of a save, save from Coles, because this is going in the corner. Can't give that man time and space. That is that. Indeed, in Scotland with Dundee United. There's Mickey Duffy. So unfortunate not to score, but for the brilliance of Leon Poles. In the first half, four by O'Reilly McMullen, uh, Danny Mullen, fed wide, Roman Boyce, Derry threatening once oh. again. Oh, crashes off the woodwork! So, so close from Danny Mullen. This is here, comes out to the right hand side, comes into Mullen. It's a wonderful check, isn't it? What a strike that is. Keeper was beaten, no end. Just gets it out with his left foot. So unlucky. Generated so much power when he is claimed by Mar. Straight away he sends it downfield. Looking for Adam O'Reilly. Forward by Boyce. Plume. And Dylan Watts. And here's Aaron Green. Chance here for Shamar Grovers. And they have pinched the lead. In emphatic style, Aaron Green seizes on the opportunity and makes no mistake. And the defending champions go in front. Derry City nil, Shamrock Rovers won. A fifth of the season for Aaron Green. That's been the warning sign. He's been there the whole game. He's done this four or five occasions throughout the whole game. This is the one chance. Just waits his opportunity. It's Ben Doherty that came across with him. Conley is, is, is furious. Have a look at that. You've got to track that run. You've got to stay with him. I don't know whether he slips or not. Take nothing away from Aaron Green. Just keeps it low. Got to expect the keeper maybe to split his legs. It's a hell of a finish. And he 
We were expecting the goal, didn't know where it was going to come from. Rose has got a first. Well, a superb moment for Ars. Killed the atmosphere a little bit. Derry City had to give this crowd something to cheer about. Get behind their team. Going to need it. Plenty of time left in the game. Start with the layoff. Graham Burke just checked his run. Forward by Poom. For Dylan Watts just to hold off the challenge of McElhinney. And Green could begin another opportunity here. And it's taken. It's 2 0. Absolutely top notch stuff from Aaron Green. Green on the double. Shamrock Rovers 2 up. It's crazy stuff. Defensively crazy. You can't, you can't let that happen again. I mean, you've got to learn a lesson. You might be McJanet on this particular occasion. It's just, he's just too quick, Aaron Green. You know he's going to do it. He's so quick. He gets himself across. He comes in behind McJanet. I don't know who's in on the cover. There's got to be somebody there. Criminal to let that happen. So quickly after one another, have a look at the finish. It's a wonderful finish. Mary Green, he's got time to get his head up. It's bouncing nicely for him. Almost made his mind up, didn't he? Two poachers' goals, no doubt about it. Aaron Green is absolutely on song tonight for Shamrock Grover's. Had that opportunity in the first half. Just no. Doesn't miss them. Shamrock Clark loves the tackle. Conley intercepts. Has Dan Kelly available? So Dan Kelly heading back towards his own goal, and he's given possession to Aaron Green, who has got Graham Burke available. Burke for Shamrock Rovers. Towel available. This could be 3 0. It is Shamrock Rovers. 3 0 up, and it's Richie Towel who adds the third. So cheaply given away by Derry City. And Shamrock Rovers pants and towel fires them into a thrilling advantage at the Ryan McBride Brandywell Stadium. We've got to give huge credit to Shamrock Rovers for the pressure that they put on their Dirty City under here. Daniel Kelly forced into the mistake, and then once they win the ball back, it's all about composure, good decision making. Graham Bourke just holds it, holds it, puts it on the plate for Richie Towle. Slots in for number three. All too easy for Shamrock Rovers. You've got to seriously question the mentality of the Dirty City players. Heads have gone down since they conceded that first goal. Just not good enough. This. Smartly defended by Shamrock Rovers. Gaffney just driving forward of McMullen, chasing back. A little bit uh, scrappy. Janet with a firm challenge voice now for Dan Kelly. Kelly to go raiding forward once again. And he delivers the cross with a tempting oh. ball in, and that's a fine goal. They've got one back. And you know who on the mark, Pat Hooban, arriving at the back post. It's 3 1 in favour of Shamrock Rovers, but Hooban on the mark. Yeah, credit where Shoe Agent is to the early delivery from Daniel Kelly that makes all the difference here. Doesn't decide to go too far, but just puts it into a really good area. And once you've got Hooban in that kind of area, he normally doesn't miss it. Johnny Kenny. Kenny. With uh, Gaffney in support, he's uh, all bottled up, but uh, Adam O'Reilly is there to take charge. Nugent has it, though, inside the area. All a bit frantic in the end, it's uh, cleared away to safety, and Paul McLaughlin blows the full-time whistle, and it's a pretty emphatic win for Shamrock Rovers on the road. A statement win, if you will. A brace from Aaron Green in the second half, added to by Richie Towles' close-range finish. Pat Hooban pulled a goal back late on for Derry City.